Hey guys, um, Mike Bland, Shadow Company Investigations in St. Louis, once again, knocking out some videos this morning, either in video mode or I'm not in video mode. So today, let's just answer some of these questions that everybody asks the same question about. When should you hire a private investigator? I guess the answer to that is, on these short little videos I'm knocking out, is if the thought has crossed your mind, that means you're probably already there, and that probably means you need a private investigator. So whether your home has been burglarized and the police are simply not doing their jobs because I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars, thanks to law enforcement, simply not doing their job anymore. And how do I also know that? Because I worked in law enforcement for 20 years. So unfortunately, there are some very good personnel in law enforcement, and there's a whole lot of very lazy people. So I have, you know, had the fortunate result to work on murders, missing persons, robberies, burglaries, rapes, home invasions, carjackings, cold cases, whatever, thanks to law enforcement, putting those cases away in a metal folder and never opening them again. So if you have anything that I would say is, and, and everything may be important, an important case to a person, depending on that person and what they've experienced, whether their mailbox has been knocked down by some high school kids or their daughter's been missing for 15 years. So every what's important and what is serious varies from person to person. But if a person is hell-bent enough on needing answers and they are not able to get those answers again by other means, if they can't figure it out, if law enforcement is refusing to help them or simply cannot solve it, then you have to explore other options. And if you're not a trained professional investigator, then you're probably not the guy. The other thing that I have learned, and I also know, because yes, I am human also, shockingly, when something is your own problem, even me, for example, being a 25 year professional investigator, if, if something is my own problem going on and I'm trying to figure it out, I've learned the minute you're, it's your own problem, it gets very more murky and complex to try to figure out. And that's because I've learned I can solve anyone else's problems or investigation. The minute it becomes my own issue, like my own missing dog, which has happened, my pets ran off before, your 1% of emotion kicks in and 1% of panic, whether you're professional or not, it starts to murky up the waters. It starts to cloud your judgment. It starts to throw you off. It starts to add to the distraction. And that 1% of all of those things that adds up is way too much. So when you get someone else that has no emotions or no dog in the fight invested in what's going on and they're a trained professional, now, now you're, you're really getting some good help there. That person can come in with a clear mind, assess what's going on, ask the right questions and come up with a, a logical approach. So, you know, when you need to hire one, again, you know, it varies. If you're a corporation, if you're some executive, if you're some lawyer, if you're someone in a child custody case, someone's being cheated on, those, you know, investigative needs vary from person to person. So depending again on what your need is, is going to dictate, if you need a private investigator, how serious is your case is it for psychological closure? That's often common in cheating cases. Is it somebody needing somebody to catch them doing something? And it gets into then the cost of hiring a private investigator, which I'm going to discuss in this next video. So make sure to watch. Thank you. Goodbye.